7.44 minutos. It's baseball season on the island of baseball, but just try finding a baseball in stores. Ando buscando una, una pelota de baseball. No lo tienes aquí. Like so many basic things in cash-strapped Cuba, baseballs are out of stock everywhere. But what you will find everywhere is big league excitement. This is the Esquina Caliente, or the hot corner, third base in baseball lingo. In Havana, it's where the diehards come to ponder the many nuances of Cuba's national sport. If this is Cuban social media, today's trending topic, Game 2 of the Serie Nacional Championship, basically Cuba's World Series. Cuba and the United States have a complicated relationship, even on the diamond. Generations ago, Fidel Castro turned baseball into something bigger than a game, a symbol of national identity, pride, and defiance. Players at the top have long rivaled their American counterparts. There are some important differences between the Cuban League and the majors. First, here the players aren't pro. They earn a state salary of about 40 bucks a month. The upside, the ticket price for this World Series game, four cents. That means anyone can come, and it seems everyone from Ciego has. Third difference, conga drums in the bleachers. It's easy to get swept up in the excitement. That may be true, but then there's that multi-million dollar siren song wafting across the Florida Straits. Every year, a handful of Cuban star players defect to the U.S. in search of lucrative contracts. Many make it onto the rosters. Some become stars, like infielder Joan Moncada, a rising star here who just signed with the Red Sox for $60 million. He's a testament to how good the Cuban system is and the spectacular breach between the two economies, indeed the two countries.